Welcome to our presentation on JPD Refuted in Seven Minutes. I'm Gio Kino Michael Cashone, the author of Repetition of the Bible, edited by David Kuski, Robert Dargitz, and Rolf Price. This book is available through RedeemerPress.org, Amazon, Northwestern Publishing, and CN News. You can also write to this address and, or call this number and order a copy. We're now going to show clear evidence that the Pentateuch, that is the first five books of the Bible, is the work of one author and not the supposed result of four different sources. The documentary hypothesis states that the Pentateuch was not written by one author, who called himself Moses, but as the work of a redactor who combined the writings of at least four traditions, Yahweh's, Yellowist, Yahweh's, Elohim's, Priestly, and Deuteronomist into one document. And here are the supposed four sources uh, written out here with their time of writing. Yahweh's, 950 B.C., Elohim's, 850 B.C., Deuteronomist, 600 B.C., Priestly, 500 B.C. This is all supposition. There are, there are no separate documents, and there is no proof that any of this really existed at all. This is all theory. These four sources, or supposed sources, known as JEPD, are often color-coded so that readers can see how the Pentateuch, the first five books of the Bible, is put together and visualize the various divisions of the text. So here you have the, the Yahweh, Elohim, Priestly, Deuteronomist, and then the redactor who supposedly combined all four into what we today would call Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. Now, sources for the Pentateuch then can be displayed almost like a UPC code when you put it all together. This is supposedly uh, Genesis with all the different all the different writers spliced together. They sorted it all out and said, you see, that's, that's how it was written. And then Exodus, Leviticus, and Numbers. There's no evidence for this other than theory. They can't prove any of it. There are no documents that even substantiate this. Richard Elliott Friedman's book, Who Wrote the Bible? Princeton, 1985, provides an appendix on pages 246 through 255 where he claims to separate the supposed four sources, or J-E-P-D, out of the Pentateuch. That's a copy of his 1985 edition. There's been a new edition since then. Friedman uses the documentary hypothesis to sort the Pentateuch into what he claims are its four original sources based on linguistic differences, almost like sorting out a deck of cards. So we can have the, uh, the, Elo, the Elois, the Deuteronomist, the Priestly, and we can sort them all out into these different categories based on ling linguistic differences, just like putting a deck of cards back into its suits. This is pure fantasy. However, renowned Hebrew scholar Umberto Cossudo disagreed and advocated for one author to be the writer of the Pentateuch. His proof is that he found in the text three Hebraic meters that really aren't discussed by any of these scholars today. These are two of his books, uh, a commentary on the book of Genesis, available through Varda Books, uh, from Adam to Noah, and uh, a commentary on the book of Exodus, also available through Varda Books, in addition to other, other works by Casuto. Kosudo names all three of these meters in one paragraph. He names them all through his commentaries, but in one paragraph he puts them all together. Here's a quote on page 224 of the Exodus commentary in, Varda, in the Varda book edition. Quote, these sections, Exodus 25, 1 through 31, 18, cite figures that are mentioned only for the sake of achieving such symmetry, which is based partly on the decimal system, that would be the cattle meter, and partly on the number seven, that would be heptatic meter, and the sexagesimal system, that would be dodo cattle meter, or twelves, as will be explained in detail further on. That's a quote 
by Casuto. Casuto's research results in phrases consisting of two to seven or more words repeating in heptatic sevens, the cattle tens, or dodal cattle meter twelves. Within a span of paragraphs, chapters, section, or entire book. Here we have an example of heptatic meter over the face of all the earth, seven times in Genesis. This phrase only appears in Genesis exactly seven times. Here we have creeps that creeps on the earth seven times in heptatic meter. Fall of the air ten times in Genesis. That's the cattle meter. That it was good ten times in Genesis. Again, the cattle meter. In all the land of Egypt, twelve times in Exodus. That's Dota cattle meter. The purpose of this meter, repetition, appears to serve as a literary device that verifies the authenticity of the original text. They wanted to make sure they had the original copy, so they put the meter, or someone put the meter in the text so you could prove you had the original text. This would defy the whole process of the documentary hypothesis. The presence of these phrases in the text has led critics to incorrectly assume that they are the work of more than one author. This also explains the unusual separation of vocabulary in the text required to complete this unique and innovative form of Hebraic meter. Only the Hebrew writer includes this work, I should say this meter, in his text. You can't find it like this in any other ancient document with these meters selected solely for the Pentateuch. I should say solely for the Hebrew Bible. If the, document, if the document hypothesis is correct, key phrases repeating in multiples of 7, 10, or 12 times should appear in the same color according to the various sources. They should all be the same. In other words, if you get a phrase, like I showed you before, they should all be one color because that one group wrote it. Priestley wrote this group, and the Elois wrote another group, and the Yahweh wrote another group, and then they were all edited together. However, we find exactly the opposite. Here is heptatic meter, sevens, blessed them seven times, supposedly written by three different writers. This is impossible. This should be a solid color if it was written by, if this was, meter was put together by uh, one of these sources. How could the three different sources coordinate when they're separated by time and geography? Here we find three different colors. When we know this means there has to be one author, again, over the face of all the earth. Here we have three different authors, seven times written the same phrase, identical. Children of Israel, seven times. Here we see it again, three different authors. And Israel said, seven times, supposedly, two different authors. Lift up eyes, 14 times, that's double heptatic meter. Here we have Three different writers, supposedly, when this can only be accomplished by one writer. Here's the Hebrew that substantiates that. In the eyes of seven times. This was interesting. This one is he double heptatic meter. It's split. We've got with my Lord. Here we have Lord, 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 Lord. Seven times put together in this Double heptatic meter of 14 repetitions. The total repetitions of the book of Genesis, supposedly, according to the documentary hypothesis, three different writers contributed this one example of meter, which is utterly impossible. Fall of the air, 10 times in Genesis. Two different authors. That's heptatic meter, I should say the cattle meter. In the land of Canaan, 20 times, double the cattle meter. I got four different writers contributing to this. Seven years. That's 12 times in the book of Genesis. Absolute form, no prefix. Supposedly three different writers. In all the land of Egypt, 12 times. Three different writers 
contributing this supposedly, which is again impossible. In all the land of Egypt, it's in Exodus. We see there 12 times. Phrases up to seven words, repeating seven, 10, and 12 times. That's a statistical impossibility. Often appear in three or more colors, as you've already seen, thus proving that the document hypothesis is based on a 19th century failed methodology. It would be impossible for various sources, known as JEPD, each to separate, each separated by 100 to 150 years and geographically, to coordinate metered repetition of the text. This is impossible. It didn't happen. Therefore, the Pentateuch could only be the work of one author who protected the authenticity of his work with a brilliant literary device unknown to Western civilization. It could only be put there by one person. No one else would coordinate all this. Thus, the ancient Hebrew text is not a combination of four sources, but was created by a fixed number of repeated phrases unique to Holy Scripture. One author assembled all of this, and I could show you hundreds of more examples, by the way. One author coordinating all of this, unknown to Western civilization until now, and now we see it's all present, and instead of JEPD, everything points to Moses as being the original writer of Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. And when you open up the text, you can prove by the presence of the meter that you have his original words. Thank you.